Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of September the 23rd through to the 29th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Scorps. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Moon in the reverse position, followed then by the Five of Pentacles reversed. And next, we have Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the upright, followed then by the Two of Cups upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Empress in the upright position. Okay, you have three major arcana here. Could be a bit of an intense week for Scorpio. Scorpio's no stranger to intensity. Scorpio loves intensity. Bring it on, Scorpio says. <laughs> so for your overall energy, you have that of major arcana, the moon, the Pisces card in the reverse position. The um, moon in the upright position can point to a little bit of... Uh, uh, a little bit of concerning, confusing energy uh, when the moon's in the upright. So I'm glad it is inverted because this can point to we are gaining our clarity in the moon in the upright. We don't have clarity. Things can look one way but actually be another. So it can be very confusing, self-deception, deception coming from other things not looking the way or not being the way they look. When it's inverted, clarity is there. You're gaining your clarity uh, Scorpio, you know exactly what's going on. If it's concerning a Pisces, you definitely do. Someone else got this card as their overall. I think it was Cancer. Um, yeah, maybe the water signs are super connected this week. So anyway, that's beautiful. Lots of clarity for your overall energy. Coming right off the hop, we have the Five Pentacles reversed. Uh, this can point to, when it's in the upright, this can point to uh, feeling a little bit of tight or lack in terms of finances where things could be looking a little bit tight but inverted this can point to um, releasing of those energies so we don't feel so strapped financially um, for others of you if you've been left out in the cold or you left someone else out in the cold and abandoned them it could, you could see a return of them at the early part of the week five of pentacles in reverse points to letting someone back in from the cold or um, they're letting you back in. Whatever the, however it's playing out, remember it's going to be different for everyone because it's just a general read. And the next card up is Major Arcana, the Hierophant in the upright position. This points to, the Hierophant points to contracts, um, commitments. So it could be that um, this week, Scorpio, you could see yourself making a major commitment. It could be to a um, a new spiritual group, it could be to a new church, uh, congregation, it could be making a commitment to a, um, a, a term position at a school or with the government, that type of official. It's very official stuff. The Hierophant, it can also point to making a commitment in a relationship. Perhaps some of you are committing to marriage, committing to moving in together, committing to something very serious. Others of you could just be committing to a, a career, a job, a situation like that. Now, the next card up is the beautiful energies of the Two of Cups in the upright position. Some of you are definitely committing to a person. There's a commitment here and it's with a person. The Two of Cups, although it can be, <clears throat> sometimes the Two of Cups points to uh, partnerships as well. So this could be a business partnership. Maybe you're, you're um, going into business with a good friend or something like that. Others of you, this could definitely be a romance that's getting closer and closer. You're uh, really, this is like that twin flame soulmate type of energy where you're just so simpatico, you're on the same page, you're feeling the same feelings, and uh, you're just, it could sometimes even just represent getting together with someone, our best friend, or someone we haven't even seen in a while, and the conversation is just going so beautifully, it's just flowing, it's just amazing. So there is a beautiful connection here coming to going, moving towards the weekend of the 28th, 29th. And the last card you have up is Major Arcana, the Empress in the upright position. The Empress is beautiful energy. She points to abundance. She points to strong confidence. Looks like you're gonna have a lot of confidence in yourself and why wouldn't you? This beautiful reading here, Scorpio. Um, the Empress is beautiful energy. She can sometimes point to a mother or a mother figure or someone in a position of authority who's being of assistance to you. So this could be the energies go both ways. This could be you yourself. Scorpio feeling like that uh, nurturing 
compassionate, caring, understanding person towards someone, or someone could be doing that with you, or it could be mutual. But it's a very abundant, very beautiful, beautiful energy. So what a nice reading here, Scorpio. <laughs> and in closing, I am going to pull a Chakra Wisdom Oracle card uh, to get an extra message just for you guys, your own special secret message. <laughs> and you got the card, Expansion. Some of you could be expanding your family because the Empress is about abundance and sometimes pregnancy. So um, if you don't want an expansion of your family, take precautions. <laughs> Others of you could be expanding your your journey, your life experience. You're making a commitment to something. It looks like a pretty serious week, uh, Scorpio, but a pretty good one. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.